Uh, where's my camera? Okay, right there. So, how are you? Um, GG Fleur. Um, I, we're having a conversation in the comment box, but I thought I just wanted to address this basically here, um, which is easier because you, I like to talk. So, here's, here I go. So, you're asking me uh, if the family that, if, it, if I was dating someone and the family did not approve of me because of my race, right? Um, no. You know, I said a comment box. And like, no, I would not. Um, but I made the advice that I gave, I know was a very sound. And if you think about it before you ask, say that it, it's not good before you give me the impression that the advice I was giving is good. I know it's good because of this. My mother would tell me to stay keep within my to stay within my race because she did not want uh, other black other black people, especially the women, to hate and discriminate against me and give me all types of grief. It was for my protection. Okay. So. I understand that. My daddy would uh, always say something different. Do what you want. He gives a fuck. You're a man. You get whoever you want. Uh, so my friend, my friend, actually two, two uh, sisters that I knew I went to college with, they both were with Mexican dudes. One was Mexican, the other was Mexican and white, right? And um. She had been with nothing more than black guys her entire life. She decided to try something new. And she would be on the phone with me constantly about how the family is treating her like shit and making references, subtle references, uh, that they don't want her around. They would say stuff like, oh, uh, they were there eating dinner at a table and she said, um, she was hearing, she told me that they said they don't like chocolate. They said this when there was like some cake or some brownies being put at the table. But uh, I think it was the, it was the, it was the, it was the, the, the father. The father said, oh, we don't like chocolate. But the way he said it. The reference was to her, right? And it's a long story, but basically, what made me come to that conclusion was what made me come to that conclusion was when I realized that her boyfriend would not stick up for her, would not treat her better. Well, he treated her better than all the other black guys, but he would not defend her in the department of. That was his woman. He would not uh, stick up for against the family, and not say I wanted him to go at odds with the family. But he did not defend her to his best, to the best of his ability. He didn't tell him to stop. Uh, uh, he didn't. He didn't tell her to stick up for like I guess like she thought, he, like she thought that he should have. And plus, he was he lived with the family, so that was a factor. They could have kicked him out. They threatened to kick the dude out. Um, he had enough money to move out. He was in the Navy, but he was like on reserves. And there wasn't any anything stopping him from leaving. He had a he had a, he had a full time job. It's just that, that he allowed the father to control his actions and who he dated. And I know in, you know, in Hispanic families, it's a patriarch, the, the man runs the household, I understand that. But, but, uh, I had to be honest with my friend, you know, I did not want to see her hurt, I wanted to see it with another black guy, really, but it, it, I had to be honest with her and tell her that some Hispanics don't like, uh, you with don't like don't like seeing the uh, their children with black people particularly in particular the women 
I had to tell her, I had to tell her, like, yes, the men can do whatever they want, but I guess even sometimes mainly the men get encouraged not to date black people, uh, black women. Um, uh, it, it, it was out of protection that 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 idea came out. That protection, uh, that rule, came out of me wanting to see her do better and feel better and and find someone that she loved. Um, I didn't want to see her hurt, uh, but including my sister. Right, my sister's not married. Uh, she's my little sister, and she wants to be with a black man and she I guess at one point she considered being with an Hispanic dude or a white guy, I don't know. It it's or or she she was willing to date outside of a race, I don't know. But she'd say that a lot of other guys were interested and in she had stepped out, got dressed up, some men she would walk in like she was she wears her natural hair, she's in shape, she got a curvy big booty and all this and you know, she's 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 a good catch, you know, but I I don't want any, I don't want a man of another race hurting my sister personally. I don't want to see another man not defend her and fight for her honor and, and not stand up to anyone who disrespects my sister or any of the sisters that I care about in my personal life. That's why I make some of the videos I do. Um, I, I, I can't stand to see uh, them cry in front of me or, or call me on the phone because I need someone to talk to. Because this dude it just ain't doing what he needs to do. He's not standing up. He's not defending her. He's not, he's not checking motherfuckers that make racial comments or get up in her face. And, and, and want to disrespect it. You know, I already get enough flack for even finding interracial dating okay from uh, people within my race. You think I'm a fucking traitor, you know? But yeah, this is what I've known my entire life. You know? It's... <laughs> but, um, that's how I fucking feel about it, you know? And that's what basically I've come to it the idea came out of do not date a person of another race if that person is going to allow you to be disrespected and tell you to ignore the ignorance and the maybe I understand that you know Asian people want Asians Asian couples want other Asians to make, uh, marry other Asians Hispanic people want other people to marry Hispanic people. The non-black ones anyway. But I uh I don't want any one of my family members complaining to me about how they're being disrespected because I always look at it further because I've heard the mixed some of my own some of my own friends um in the past who were of a mixed race like black and mexican black and white my own cousin in fact they've been through some shit they get enough fat black of being hated on by other black people for being mixed why should you put it up why should you put up with that why should you put up with that by the other half of your race that you're a part of in it's, it's kind of, and you're already going to get that outside in life. Why would you want to have kids with someone outside of your race w with a particular family that would discriminate it and then the person you had kids with doesn't even stick up for you. Don't, they don't look out for you. They don't, they, they, they don't, they don't, and if, and, and that tells me that if they're going to allow you to put up with it, they'll allow the kids to go through it too. They won't look out for the kids. They won't stand up. They won't protect those kids, especially if the grandparents of these, uh, especially the grandparents, aunts, uncles, and nieces of these children are, 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 are just dishing it out to your kids, to your mixed black kids. I don't want you to hurt my brothers and sisters like that. 
This is a protection on my base, really. Because people are going to do it anyway. There, there are going to be some black people who fence hop. And you might as well be smart about it. Listen, that's my stand. That's my that's my road. That's that's where I stand. You might as well be smart about it. You can't just go around and 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 think that okay, I'm not with a black woman. Um, everything's all peachy and cream. Uh, little do black men know that you know you know you date. Let's say you date a white chick. They don't. You're not gonna be dealing with the snappy hair. Oh my gosh, I'm into that black woman. Nigga, you can tell me what to do. I'll run this shit. You're not gonna deal with that. You're going to deal with some of my white female friends have told me that they have, you know, they have some problems themselves. They didn't get into great detail and I don't want to put their business out there, the ones I personally know, but some of them have mental issues, even to the point where they have to get committed to a psych ward and take antidepressant pills and take antipsychotic meds. I have been on conversations on the phone with some of my white female friends. Yes. So that's what brothers will be dealing with. So it's like, okay, you want to deal with the snap or angry sane sister or the white girl who has mental issues growing up because of uh, fucked up home life. And that's not even being funny. That's some serious shit. Which one? Where, where you get? You know. So, um, I'm not opposed to it. I'm just make a good decision. Be smart about it. Because people are still gonna fucking do it. It's 26, 2015, going into 2016. People are gonna do what they damn want to do, and you might as well get your head out of your ass. And understand that some races, they say some fucked up things about us. Okay, in other, in other races, like, well, like, I remember one of my, I remember my Mexican friend Jose, right? He wanted to hook up with a, I can't remember whether she was Thai or Japanese, but he really liked Asian chicks, right? And the family did not want him being with their Asian daughter because they want they would prefer them they prefer her Asian daughter to be with a white guy because they considered marrying up. Oh yeah, that's also that's also uh some Hispanic people do that too. They marry white people. They consider white marrying up. Because that whole uh, light skin colorism thing in, 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 in Latin America. That's a whole different story. I, that's a whole different conversation. That's historical. You can, you have to get into the history of uh, the Spanish conquest of the Americas to understand that one with the, with the caste system. Put that. But, so, so, if you're, if you date another race and you, and, because I know that going in, I, 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 that's why I'm so opposed to doing shit blindly when it comes to that. Like, I don't, I don't play around with that. And I, I kind of, and I don't care who has a problem with that ideology because it's not out of our benefit to make stupid decisions and it with prejudiced, colorblind people because the people in those ethnic groups and religious groups and circles, whoever you're trying to be integrated with through relations, personal relationships, intimate relationships, they don't ignore our skin tone. They don't ignore who we are. They don't ignore where we come from. They don't look past our background. They want to know who you're with, what you're doing with your life, what you did in your past, what are you doing now, and how can you take care of my daughter or son? Black man or black woman. They care about all that. Especially in those Eastern cultures, especially if you're Indian, Pakistani, Persian, Chinese, Japanese, Cambodian, they care about all that shit. They're like, they're like, if they're gonna be, they're like, if you're gonna be with my daughter, and I have a problem with this black man, this negrito mayate sunog, this nigger Catholic person having a problem with dating. 
All right. What you got? What can you do for my son or daughter? What businesses? What are you making? How much money? Where you been? Can you articulate? Can you dress right? They care about that shit. You need to care about that shit. Uh, let's say you got all your shit together. This is and this is the people who have it together. Never mind the ones who don't have their shit together. This is the black folks who have their shit together and still get problems just for being black. Because you can't change this. I can't change this. Why would you want to? be with the next person if they can't accept who you are which was the reason of you dating outside your race anyway it's it's for protection of me it's for my protection it's for my sister's protection it's for the protection of my aunts and uncle well my my, my nieces really because most of the women are family are black men the only person who's ever as far as I know, who's got been intimate with someone who wasn't black to my cousin, and she had my sister. I mean, she, I mean, she had my 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 little cousin, who's looking very. I have a very white looking cousin. She's black, Mexican, and white, and um, and and personally, when I do make these videos, I think of her. She had a kid with a black man, and her kid is more black than look. No, looks more black than her. She's a uh, she's. I want to say probably around half white Hispanic. Her 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 father is a white Hispanic male, and she is, and her mother is a black woman. Black as me, but I want to have a healthy life, you know. I don't want anyone hurting her, harming her, or her child who is some, uh, practically mixed herself up with you. Probably would identify as black. I know my, 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 my cousin identifies as a black, as an African American, she, even though she is a white looking female, Caucasian female. She identifies as African American, so uh, she may be a white person on the outside, but she identifies with her black side because she was raised on that side. Um, that's pretty much how I feel about it. Um, I don't make apologies for it. I don't... No. No apologies. There's there's nothing to be ashamed of. It's for... Uh, it, it's... Because we have too many problems. And uh, people may be opposed to it. But in another thing, right? Y'all want to uplift... I mean, if anyone wants to make upliftment... Either... If people want to... Say what they like about us, our black culture, they love black people, whatever, they love black women, they love black men, it don't matter. Um, but like something personal about us, don't just fantasize, because we're like, because I'm pretty sure we don't want to be your fucking fantasy. We don't want to be your fucking fantasy. We want to be someone that actually, that you deem as a human being that you care and love about. We do not want to be that way. And I, and I learned that, you know, to so have your nose stuck it in the air and, well, no, no, that's different, I'm going off topic, but yeah, um, yeah, that was the point, right, what the point was to find love in another circle because you couldn't find it in our community, right, so you might as well be, um, you might as well do it right. Because you can't, you can't, there ain't shit you can do. There's no law against it. It's not illegal to marry, to not marry someone in your ethnicity or race. It's no, there's no law that, that's been abolished since 1965. So for, I want to say, so how many years have been people been able to do that? Um, so I want to say, okay, 65, to, no shit, that was 19, 1967, excuse me. So we got to go to 1966. Seven to okay. Oh, fuck it. It's probably over almost thirty. I want to say over thirty. Probably forty over forty years. Forty-two, forty-one years that dating whomever you want is uh, legal, mm -hmm. and that's pretty much the gist of it uh, as far as 
Well, I gotta say, um, that there's no, there's no, that that's not for discussion. That advice was for black folks that just had given up and you can't find love or just be doing it, whatever. That was for black folks. Now, I don't know, in your, in your picture, you look Asian, but I'm thinking you're black or I can't really tell because it's to the side and the lighting. I can't really tell. You look kind of Asian looking or Pacific Islander looking. I can't really, I'm, I'm thinking you might be black, but I'm, uh, whatever. But I'm, 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 I'm thinking that you're not. But I'm kind of on the fence here. So I'm, I'm talking as if you're not black. But that's just it. Oh, as far as me, um, yeah, that's yeah, that's pretty much. I've explained it. I don't explain shit. But um, I just wanted to say uh, Merry Christmas. Um, going into the new year, I see that you're a follower of Jacob Mason. Um, have fun with that. Uh, no, no salt, no shade. Just and even yourself, you know. Uh, 